Once upon a time, there was a priest who was excited about finding new ways to share the good news of Jesus Christ with children. So one day he went to a primary school to talk to each class about forgiveness. And when each class came in, he would ask them if they knew what forgiveness was. And he was very pleased when the children answered that forgiveness means when someone says sorry to you, you say, that's OK. And then he gave each child a soluble vitamin tablet. Hold the tablet in your hand, he said, and pray to God that he will forgive you for anything you have done wrong. Say sorry for those things and ask him to say, that's OK. And so the children close their eyes because you close your eyes when you're praying to God. And then the priest said, now keep holding the tablet in your hand because I want you to think about something that someone has done wrong to you. And then tell God about this person and this thing they did to you. Keep thinking about it and then in your mind, imagine the person saying sorry and then imagine yourself saying, it's OK. And when you've finished imagining that, put your tablet in this jug of water and we will watch the pain that you have suffered disappear in the water because when you forgive somebody, your pain will begin to disappear. Well, pretty soon the children were opening their eyes and dropping their soluble vitamin tablets in the water and watching their pain dissolve as the water turned orange. And the priest stayed in the school all afternoon. He went through this exercise with each class and with each class it was the same until he came to the last class. Something different happened with the last class right at the end of the exercise. When the children came forward to drop their tablets into the water and watch the tablets fizz until all their pain was dissolved in the water that turned orange, the priest noticed one little boy did not come forward. He remained where he was, clutching his tablet, and he looked sad. And the priest asked him to stay behind when the other children left. Have you still got your tablet? asked the priest. And the boy nodded. Why have you still got your tablet? asked the priest. And the boy said, because I can't imagine the person who has done wrong, wrong things to me saying sorry. And because I can't imagine this, I can't imagine saying it's OK. Nervously, the priest asked the boy to tell him who the person was and what they had done. And the boy said that another boy in the school had said mean things to him and this made him sad and not want to come to school. Have you told anybody about this? asked the priest. And the boy shook his head. So I am the first person you have told, asked the priest. No, said the boy. God is the first person I told. And then the boy said, you are the second person. Bless you for saying that, said the priest. And then the priest said, sometimes we can't forgive people because they have not said sorry. Sometimes we have to imagine forgiving them in the future, when the time comes. And there was a silence between them. And then the priest said, do you want me to come with you to speak to your teacher? and We can tell her about what has happened together. And the boy nodded. And they found the teacher and they told her what had happened. And the teacher said, I thought something had happened like this, but I wasn't sure. And turning to the boy, she said, do you want me to speak to this boy and ask him to say sorry to you? 
and there was a silence between them. And then the boy nodded. I will speak to him in the morning and ask him to say sorry, said the teacher. Thank you, said the boy. All this time the boy's fist had been closed tight around the vitamin tablet. But now slowly he uncurled his fist. The tablet was sticky and it stuck to his palm. And the boy offered the tablet to the priest. Can you put it in the water for me? he asked. And the priest peeled the tablet from the boy's palm. I will, he said. 